Hey everyone, what's up? This is Simon from DevDactic and the Ionic Academy. In this tutorial, I will show you how you can easily implement your own QR code generator and also how to read this code. So I've started a blank new Ionic app. I can bring it up. Um, there's nothing added by now. And the first thing we need to add is this package ngx QR code 2. Uh, which will help us to easily show a QR code um, with just one input, actually. Um, additionally, I will also add the Cordova plugin for a barcode scanner, which also scans QR codes. So this would be the Cordova plugin or PhoneGap plugin barcode scanner. And finally, uh, I will also add the NPM package from Ionic Native for our barcode scanner. Um, if you just want to display your QR codes, you obviously don't need the second uh, two installs now, but I will add them so we can actually verify that our QR code has the information that we uh, created or hope that it contains. So here's my app and the two plugins should be ready in a second. So first of all, we need to import the ngx QR code module, which comes from uh, ngx QR code 2. And we also need to import our barcode scanner which comes from at Ionic Native Barcode Scanner. So the barcode scanner goes to the array of our providers and the QR code module actually goes to our imports as we import another module. Now we can continue and make use of these cool things. So right inside our home HTML, perhaps this is the QR code app. Um, we can add, first of all, an input because we need a way to capture the data for our uh, QR code, which we will create. So placeholder, perhaps my QR data. Um, this is just if you want to give your users uh, the chance to create the code or um, in our example to see how everything works. Um, fine. Then we need two buttons. Ion button full always looks kind of good. I don't know why. Um, we need one button to create our code and we need a second button in a second. But let's add an ion icon as well. Uh, the barcode icon and this is create code. So we should add icon left as well. And now the second button, uh, almost the same, but now scan code and we use QR scanner as an icon and say scan code. Okay, um, that's already almost enough, but let's add a new card as well um, below. So inside our card, we will then display the actual QR code, but only if we have set the uh, created code variable. So uh, we will not update the QR code on every input. We will wait until we are finished. Um, we click create code and then we set this variable. And now we use the ngx QR code element so this is an own element from the package. And here we need to set this value to our created code, um, which is actually just a string, okay? So uh, you can encode whatever you want. In our case, it's just a string. And, um, and the card content will say um, what the value is of this in here clear text again uh, just for us. So this is the most important line right here. Um, 
below we can also add a next or another card which we will display if we have scanned a code to verify if the uh, scanned code got the result of our QR code. So most of the stuff here is just to test things out. Actually, you see uh, it's one line that you need to create your code. But okay, this is the result from our scan. Um, we see my QR code data, we can create a code and we can scan a code. So now we only need to implement two functions in our home TS, which are create code and scan code. Sorry about that. And okay. Um, both are super simple. So first of all, we need the barcode scanner here as well. So import the barcode scanner. And when we uh, want to scan a code, we use our uh, Ionic native plugin. And as I said, to create a code, we just need to set this variable of our code. So let's create a few. Here, so we got QR data, um, which is null. We got the created code, also null. And we got the scanned code, also null. Now, when we create a code, we take the input or the ng model of our input, which is QA data, and set it to our created code. So, super simple just like this. And when we want to scan a code, we use this dot barcode scanner dot scan. And then we will hopefully get some barcode data back. And we can set our scanned code, which is the verification that everything worked to the barcode data dot text. And that's all. Um, let me see. Okay, so first of all, let's try if we can create a code. Uh, the Ionic Academy rocks. Create code, and it's not working, of course. Uh, all right, so the actual problem was that I had create code here, uh, which kind of worked because create code is a function, and somehow I could assign a value to it. Um, but of course we need created code in this position and now we can again try our app so the Ionic Academy still rocks and we see that we got our uh, code right here we got it as a base uh, 64 log um, which is the image and we got the value so now we can bring up our app to scan this code Okay, so on the right side, we still see our browser with a created QR code. And on the left side, you see the view of my iPhone. So I go ahead and create scan code. And we scan it. And there it is, the result from our scan. The Ionic Academy still rocks. So to verify um, another code, we create the code. The code changes. I can again hit scan code. And... Our result from scan is now another code. So just with a few lines um, of this package and by using the NPM or Ionic native package for a barcode scanner, we're now able to have our own little QR code uh, generator and reader app. So if you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to subscribe to my channel for more great Ionic videos. And also take a look at the ionicacademy.com which has more courses, projects, and a great community to learn Ionic um, on the best way. So I hope to see you soon. Have a great day and take care.